Hello everyone, I'm Steve Tober. The North 2 Group won final on a Saturday morning at the New Meadowlands Stadium. You had the legendary Frank Batone, 46 years of coaching, 333 victories coming in. The man who started New Providence football. They would certainly love to send him out with a championship against an athletic and talented Lincoln team that has been so impressive in the playoffs knocking off Glen Ridge, and pressing against Dayton. The Jersey City team taking on the legend Batone and his pioneers. Let's head out to the new Meadowlands Stadium. New Providence will be on the move early. Jack Cole, the quarterback, moving forward. The ball will be loose on this play. Lincoln will recover. Lincoln of Jersey City making some big plays in the defensive end, and the Jersey City team will receive a huge spark. It's talented quarterback Ron Butler lined up the punt, will avoid being tackled for a possible safety, and will reveal his brilliant running ability, darting back and forth across the field into Pioneer territory. A 56-yard run by the Lincoln star. However, the Pioneers will step up defensively. Dave Barletta he comes up from his linebacker spot, makes the interception, and Barletta is off to the races to complete an 88-yard return for the touchdown. The Pioneers are on the scoreboard first, and Robbie Fay's extra point placement is good. New Providence has a 7-0 lead with 3.35 left in the first quarter. Lincoln will try to get its offense back on track. Butler will hand off with the penetration of the Pioneer defense. is amazing. Barletta making the tackle for a loss. Butler will be then corralled by a number of Pioneers, including ends Brian Arroyo and Richard Nelson. Drop for a sack. A penalty flag will fly. A penalty for holding on the play, but the Pioneer defense comes up big again. New Providence on the move. Vinny Fischetto will pick up 16 yards down to the 17. Five plays later, Jack Cole, the Pioneer 6'7 quarterback, hands off to Fischetto, completes the drive with a 6-yard TD run with 39 seconds left, 14-0 Pioneers. Lincoln will attempt to battle back, running back Ty Stevens, another of the great athletes in the Jersey City Schools arsenal. Then the handoff goes to this Sean Goodwin, who has his own impressive advance with the football as Lincoln is on the move. But on fourth down, Lincoln, they'll go to the air. Butler, who's always been talented throughout the season, his pass is broken up. Joe Randazzo in the secondary coming up big for New Providence. Now the ground game for the Pioneers. Vinny Fischetto continuing to pick up huge chunks of real estate. 40-yard gain down to Lincoln 30. Then Cole with good protection on a 4th and 10 play. He'll connect with P.J. Vigilante on a 30-yard touchdown pass play. Vigilante loves it. And the Pioneer fans can taste the championship with a 21-0 lead with 3.03 still left in the third. Lincoln. Well, they'll finally get in the end zone. Deshaun Goodwin takes the pitch, gets inside the pylon for a nine-yard touchdown run. 8.53 left in the fourth, 21-8. New Providence defense continues to provide plenty of pressure as Butler, going back, will be sacked by Nelson. The Pioneers are waiting for the final ticks of the clock, waiting for that 21-8 victory to send out their retiring legendary coach with a championship. New Providence will complete an 11-1 season, its first state championship since 1989, Batone at age 79, winning his 334th game and 46 varsity seasons and going out as a champion. Great game, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, it was great. What did you guys see out there offensively? You guys moved the ball in the second half pretty well. Yeah, our uh, offensive line was just opening calls, and Vinny and Dave Barletta hitting them hard, and we were able to run up and down the field. Also defensively, how were you able to slow down this speedy uh, Lincoln team? Uh, our defensive line did a great job clogging up everything, uh, containing the, their offense, and so they did a great job also. And how important is it to, to send uh, your coach out on, on a, such a win like this? Uh, it's great. He deserves it more than anything. It's He's a legacy, and now send him out like this, it's amazing. With Vinny Fischetta, senior on the uh, champion, New Providence Northward yeah. Group 2, how's it feel? Oh, my God, it's a dream come true for me. I mean, this was our goal ever since Coach Bertone got here in the beginning. He told us he was retiring. We wanted to win a state championship for him and us when we go out, and that's what we did. Well, you were fantastic as well. Talk about what you saw from Lincoln in this game. I mean, I, there, there were holes, and I just hit them hard. You know, that's how football is. You hit the holes hard, and you, we came out on top. Second half, you guys displayed another sense of urgency. What did you guys talk about in, in halftime? Nothing. We were just we were relaxed. We went in there. We knew we had the game under control, and we went out there, and we played our game. This is 
one of the greatest things I would want for Coach, and he's a great guy, and I love him, and this is the greatest thing that I could think would happen for him after going out on a state championship. So, what was it like playing on this field? Oh, when I walked out before no one was here, it was it was amazing just looking up, seeing all the stands. But I, I couldn't let that affect me, and I just thought it was I just had the game my composure and play. Yeah, I, I'm I'm elated. I just can't I can't imagine this if somebody would write this script. The last game, you know, in my career, and at Giant Stadium, I, that's nice that they built the stadium for my last game here. I figured that, but. You have to feel great for Frank Batone, a gentleman, a terrific person. He'll be 80 in January. You wouldn't know it. The man is in his 40s when you meet him. He's as bright and sharp as anyone you'll ever meet on and off a football field. Congratulations to Frank Batone and the Pioneers. A championship season and a great way to go out to end a brilliant 46-year varsity career at the Union County School. Lincoln, on the other hand, a terrific season, a great playoff run. They should be proud of themselves. It was a North 2 Group 1 playoff game to remember, and the Pioneers certainly made it a memory for Frank Batone and all the Pioneer faithful. Remember to log on for the best in high school football at NJ Hotshots and Sideline Chatter. I'm Steve Tober.